fascinating. So let's take a look at this because you brought one. Can oh, you, the can hive? Bring it up yes, there. Certainly. Can you put it up on the table? I would be happy to. Please do. May I move around with this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, First yeah. Spot. You can take your headphones off and make it easier while you're doing this. And that the, is that honey that is from that particular group, the honey that you have there. What is this? That's honey from um, another colony, and that's really just. For them to have a little bit of food, they have food in this hive, but that's just a nice kind of, How you know. Does this, is this honey like a slow drip or something? Can I lift this up? Or would the, the bees come out? You will see bees when you lift that up, but you are more than welcome to lift oh, it up. And do you see them oh, in there? Oh, there's a net. You can even put yeah. your finger there. And those are their little proboscis. Hi guys. So, or girls, girls, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And so you have little dots, little holes here, folks. You can see that. Little holes in the bottom of this honey jar. So it's like a slow drip to yeah. them. Wow. And, you know. The sound they're making is so well, the fascinating. sounds incredible. Let me get this out of the Is that okay? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of blocking oh, no. me, but. It's okay. What's it's best like, it's well, like, anyways. I um, can see it over this way. I'm using this camera right now, though, so. Oh, are you? Okay, cool. So there is um, a queen in there, and, you know, all this was a swarm, so they didn't have any anything with them. So this is all stuff from another hive that I donated to them. But these are all female bees. I haven't seen a single male bee and in there. And if I open this door, Jamie will panic and run out of the <laughs> studio. Right? I would. Yep. You would? Yep. You haven't learned from her I, what she said? I, 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 Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Were you attacked by bees or hornets? I don't know. It was uh, inside of a grocery store, and I didn't see it coming. A grocery store? Inside yeah. of a grocery store? Yeah, I was in the frozen food section, and something <laughs> flew up my shirt. Next thing I knew, I was swollen. So, that's probably hornets, right? I, I got I, I got lit up by hornets in Utah this uh, September. So the thing about honeybees is once they sting you, they will die. The right. stinger is, you know, attached to their abdominal cavity and it'll rip out of them and they'll die shortly after. But, you know, a lot of hornets and wasps, well, all they won't. Yeah, they they, keep they going. can sting you multiple times without dying, which also the queen can. She is the only bee that, well, the male drone bees don't have a stinger. The female worker bees, their stinger is barbed, which makes it stick into your skin and rip out. Um they can sting other bees and it won't rip out and they won't die. But the queen bee, her stinger is not barbed. So you could be stung multiple times by a queen in theory, but the queens rarely have an occasion. Is to that sting. because the queen is uh, ready to fight to the death? Yeah. That's right. I can pull that up out like that that way. Wow, that's so cool. And so, so there's, you know, on this side we have a lot of. Oh, and you can feel you them, too. I mean, you can just feel their warmth. So they always try to keep their hive at around wow, 95 degrees. And, and that's just body temperature that's, that's just, causing that? That's just their body heat. Um, up here, we have a bunch of honey that's, you know, capped honey. That's going to be their food source during the winter. And then over here, there's a lot of pollen. It may be hard to see. but um, Are these holes, could they get out of there if they wanted to? Well, it's screened, so they cannot. Oh, but, I mean, you could... Um, they react to carbon dioxide. So earlier I was trying to show the gentleman the queen and I, you know, blew in, in the hole a little bit so that they could kind of move around and it disrupts them a little bit. And, um, and, and we saw her down here where there's brood. This is where the baby bees are. So mm. it's more likely that she would be down here. But I also selected this piece of comb um, to bring out of, out of this hive because it's not quite fully built all the way across and if you notice this side the bees are just hanging on the comb and they're on top of each other and they're kind of making this little living chain of bees their little legs are all linked together and that's how they build comb so you're seeing them build more of this beeswax comb i don't know if you can see that group yes. of bees there i mean if you how long is shake the, process? the hive you can see it moved see them? yes yeah. how long is the process to make like how much comb can they make in a day? I, I don't know how much comb. It would depend on the size of the colony, but you know, every bee or the female worker bees have these little wax glands on the underside of their abdomen. They have eight of these glands and the, the wax comes out, 
you know, I mean, like we do, like we produce wax, but they don't have ears, of course. They have these glands on their on their stomach and it'll come off in these sheets and they'll chew it up and, and form it in, into the beehive structure. Wow. One of the things that uh, I saw that was really wild was these uh, hornets that would come and kill honeybees. They'd swarm in and just a few enormous hun- hornets, they would chop off the heads of these honeybees. And to stop that, the honeybees swarmed the hornets and just beat their wings on them and heated them up until they died of overheating. Yes, they will. That's um, actually how the bees will or can kill a queen. In beekeeping, we refer to it as a cuddle death because it sort of looks like, you know, a bunch of bees, just a ball of bees bawling all over the the hornet or in, in some cases the queen. And... In that case, that's what they're doing is they're overheating it to death. And that's their way of taking care of these, you know, northern giant hornets that made the news yeah. last year a lot. Um, Murder hornets, right? That's what they're calling them? But Yes. Uh, and Great they, word. <laughs> you know, it has it plays into the fear of, of bees, that media. There it is right there. Yes. So why, why are these hornets killing these honeybees? Look how they just jump on top of That's them. That's remar. I mean, that is incredible. Yeah. Um, Can we see that on the camera? Or is it? Yeah. Okay. So they That's, just know what's yeah, going on. One, okay. And so they know what's going on, and they just jump all over it. So this is a common thing that these large hornets will do this, or they just instinctively know that they can heat them up. Look at that. That's so crazy. And so by being on top of them, how long does it take for them to overheat them? I wouldn't know, but this is a hornet that we, well, we hopefully don't have in the U.S. There's been no sightings of of these these hornets um, this year, so I've so I've never wild. seen anything like that. Why are, why do hornets kill bees? They are probably you know they're a predator of the bees. They will eat the bees or go after the honey or the pollen, mm. and you know we we have to keep in mind these hornets are native to an area of the world where people keep bees and beekeepers have learned to live alongside these hornets and have have their own management techniques. But as we can see, the bees have their own management techniques to yeah. <laughs> take care of these hornets too. So It's fascinating because they're totally different things, bees and hornets, but they're so similarly shaped yes. that we put them in the same category, but they're very different. They're very different. Um, 